I will praise you, Lord, among the nations. I will tell of your name to my kin. Alleluia. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as we celebrate in mystery the solemnities of your Son's resurrection, so too we may be worthy to rejoice at his coming with all the saints. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul's escort took him as far as Athens and went back with instructions for Silas and Timothy to rejoin Paul as soon as they could. Paul stood before the whole council of the Areopagus and made this speech. Men of Athens, I have seen to myself how extremely scrupulous you are in all religious matters, because I noticed, as I strolled round, admiring your sacred monuments, that you had an altar inscribed to an unknown God. Well, the God whom I proclaim is in fact the one whom you already worship without knowing it. Since the God who made the world and everything in it is himself Lord of heaven and earth, he does not make his home in shrines made by human hands, nor is he dependent on anything that human hands can do for him, since he has never been in need of anything. On the contrary, it is he who gives everything, including life and breath, to everyone. From one single stock, he not only created the whole human race, so that they could occupy the entire earth, but he decreed how long each nation should flourish, and what the boundaries of its territory should be. And he did this so that all nations might seek the deity, and by feeling their way towards him, succeed in finding him. Yet in fact he is not far from any of us, since it is in him that we live and move and exist. And indeed, as indeed some of your own writers have said, we are all his children. Since we are the children of God, we have no excuse for thinking that the deity looks like anything in gold, silver or stone that has been carved and designed by a man. God overlooked that sort of thing when men were ignorant, but now he is telling everyone everywhere that they must repent because he has fixed a day when the whole world will be judged and judged in righteousness and he has appointed a man to be the judge and God has publicly proved this by raising this man from the dead. At this mention of rising from the dead some of them burst out laughing. Others said, we would like to hear you talk about this again. After that Paul left them but there were some who attached themselves to him and became believers, among them Dionysius, the Areophagite, and a woman called Damaris, and others besides. After this, Paul left Athens and went to Corinth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him all his angels. Praise him all his souls. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. All earth's kings and peoples, earth's princes and rulers, young men and maidens, old men together with children. 
heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he alone is exalted, the splendour of his name reaches beyond heaven and earth. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. He exalts the strength of his peoples. He is the praise of all his saints, of the sons of Israel, of the people to whom he comes close. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Father will send you the Holy Spirit, says the Lord, to be with you forever. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I still have many things to say to you, but they would be too much for you now. But when the Spirit of Truth comes, he will lead you to the complete truth, since he will not be speaking as from himself but will say only what he has learnt. And he will tell you of the things to come. He will glorify me, since all he tells you will be taken from what is mine. Everything the Father has is mine. That is why I said, all he tells you will be taken from what is mine. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, filled with paschal joy, let us pray more earnestly to God, that he who graciously listened to the prayers and supplications of his beloved Son may now be pleased to look upon us in our lowliness. For the shepherds of our souls, that they may have the strength to govern wisely, the flock entrusted to them by the Good Shepherd. Be pleased to hear us, Lord, we ask you hear our prayer for the whole world, that it may truly know the peace given by Christ. Be pleased to hear us, Lord, we ask you hear our prayer for our brothers and sisters who suffer, that their sorrow may be turned to gladness, which no one can take from them. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer for our own community, that it may bear witness with great confidence to the resurrection of Christ. Be pleased to hear us, Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. O God, who know that our life in this present age is subject to suffering and need, hear the desires of those who cry to you and receive the prayers of those who believe in you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful God bless and protect us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.